hello. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to organize your Mac. Um, in my experience, I've dealt with people who just have no idea how to save anything on their Mac. So they just save everything to their desktop, which isn't good because it's going to slow down your startup times. And it's just not organized. So I'm going to open up my Finder right down here. Or you can also just go to File, New Finder window. So here it brings up my computer and everything on it everything saved on it I can open up everything on my desktop here which is all this as you can see but what I want to do is create a folder so let's say you're working on a project so let's call it project and let's say you're selling houses for this project so you're gonna open it up and you're probably going to need pictures for this project, so create a subfolder, call it pictures for a project, or whatever it is you decide to call it. And then you're going to want to also create it and call it documents for project. So if I go back a step, or if I just click Johnny, you can see I have my project, and I open it up, and I have a place to save my documents for it, and I have a place to save my pictures. So you may say, that's great, how do I get something in it? Well, it's really as simple as opening up, opening up the folder in Finder, go to Documents, and here you can drag something into it from your desktop if you're cleaning up your desktop. But let's say you're working on a file, and you, you're going to want to be able to know how to save a file straight to the folder. So let me open up Word. So here we go, we have a little file. So we want to save it to that folder to keep it organized without having to put it on our desktop and then drag it in. So I'm going to go to Save, Save As. And then this is showing me that exact same screen, that Finder screen. It's on Documents now. I don't want it on Documents, I want it on Gianni. And then I'm going to find Project and then I'm going to go to documents for project and I'm going to save it there. I'm going to exit out of Word. Now if I open up that finder window to find that document, I just go to project, documents for project, and it's right here. You really want to save all your files that way because it's so much easier. You really, the only things you want to keep on your desktop is something that you're using all the time, something you're constantly editing and you're opening up because if you don't structure your computer in an organized way it's going to such a pain um, other things if you if you're not working on a project let's just say you're writing up a paper then you're going to want to save your documents word documents let's say to your documents see right here I have different documents. I don't know why this movie's in here. It shouldn't be. Take that out. But just save all your documents to your documents folder, which is inside of your name, but also right below it. You can get to it either way. As you can see, if I click documents here, it should go there. But let's say you're working on a picture, and it's not part of a project. It's just its own picture. Then you're going to want to save it to the pictures folder. Simple as that.